All right, so what we're going to do here is just a little bit of an advanced technique with what we learned earlier and in the previous lesson on loading fonts into Photopea. So for this assignment, all you're going to do is you should already know how to load fonts um, from the internet. And what we're going to use is we're going to look at taking those fonts, typing something with them, and then using free transform after we've rasterized the layer. So let's get started. It's very quick. So all I'm going to do first is I'm in my type tool. I've selected my area. And the one thing you want to notice is when I change this, it's showing me my pixel ratio. So down here we have like an area that we could find. We have a width of 495 and a height of 474. And again, that's in pixels. If you notice up here, our size for our font is also listed in pixels. And if we were to manipulate that, it is not in points. So a lot of people think 12 point, like when you write a paper, but that's not what we're looking at here. So if you do go to open something and you can't see your text, more than likely what's happening is this is so small that you just can't see it on how large the work is, or it's so large that it's too big to fit on the work itself. So for this, all I'm gonna do is type something real quick here. All right, and what I'm gonna do with that is through my layers palette, I'm actually gonna open that up and we're gonna take that font layer and we're gonna do what's called rasterizing it. Rasterizing it will allow us to make it um, editable as a Photoshop file. So I'm gonna click that and you'll see now that it's not on a white background, it doesn't have the T and it looks like it's just a basic Photoshop file. And that's what we want. Now that we have it rasterized, I can go ahead and select the area using my marquee selection tool or rectangle selection tool here. And I can right click on that. And as long as I'm on the correct layer, I should be able to free transform that text. So we can make it larger, smaller, stretch it out just like we could an image. But what's really neat is if we are already in free transform and we two finger click again or right click again, we're given more options such as warp, perspective, distort, rotate, scale, we can rotate things. And for this exercise, all I'm gonna do is use perspective and I'm going to pinch the top together, creating a vanishing point. And of course, we immediately can see how we are getting the Star Wars effect, like the opening scroll, I should call it. So again, as we do that, the more we create, and again, if you're like, well, I want it even more, because the Star Wars, that looks like it's going up. We want it to really look like it's going back. So again, all I'm going to do is free transform, perspective, and really pinch that down while making this one appear wider. And as I do that, you can see that it's actually looking like it goes, and it's way harder to read, um, but you can start seeing that it actually gives the illusion of depth because we're creating that scroll as it's coming toward us. Again, this is just a quick tutorial on advanced techniques with our um, loading of typography.